Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and I'm just doing a quick video today for anyone interested on the different stages of the pineapple flower, a pineapple guava flower, and when the correct time to try and uh, hand pollinate them is, because it can be a little bit confusing as they can be open for quite a few days. Um, now, one of the things with a lot of flowers, uh, flowering plants, is in the case of ones which are self-fertile and have male and female parts on the same flower, which isn't the case with all fruits, um, quite often the uh, female part of the flower becomes receptive at a different time to when the pollen's released. Now, the reason for that is to try is for the plants trying to stop the flower pollinating itself so that you get more gen uh, genetic diversity so um, if you take for example the um, pawpaw which is Asamina triloba if when you look at the development of the flowers the flowers start o start opening and they're sort of a light green color and they're quite small and they are female at this stage and that's the time they need to be um, pollinated with uh, the pollen from a male part of a flower but in actual fact with the pawpaw flowers it takes them about um, it's about a week between them being female and changing to male and actually releasing their pollen so it's quite a substantial gap and you do need uh, several plants in flower or several flowers on the same plant if it's a self fertile variety like prima to be able to cross pollinate them now if you look at other members of the anona family like custard apples they actually turn from female to male within about a day so they could be female in the morning and by the evening be opening up and releasing pollen and being male well Pineapple guava flowers aren't quite like that. Um, in fact, I can't give you the full information because I haven't yet found an article to tell me when the uh, stigma, the female part of the plant, is actually receptive to pollen. But what I can do is point out the different stages of the flower um, and try and show you when the pollen's likely to be released and you can try and uh, hand pollinate your plants or cross pollinate them and when the flower's gone too far. Now it's perfect on this large plant here that I've got because I've got flowers in different stages. Now we've got here this flower is just opening from the bud so there's a bud actually behind there that obviously hasn't opened. This is the stage when the flower is just starting to open and the male part that's the uh, anthers and the stamens have actually got a sort of a, a quite a dark sort of pinky apricot color to them at this stage they've nowhere near released nowhere near releasing any pollen now as the flower opens up the stamens become more prominent like on this one here and then they get you can actually see when you look at them closely they have a sort of a yellowy color to them they get a bright yellow colour and that's that's the stage at which the pollen's been released. There's one under here as well that's released pollen. Now you can just gently tap them with your finger or brush them and you can't you won't see on the camera of course, but this flower here is actually releasing little clouds of pollen which is the right time to transfer it to other uh, flowers. Now very shortly after this, within a day or so you'll uh, if you try and pollinate them again like this one here this has gone past well past the stage this is probably two days later now this plant uh, this flower has dried out as is this one they've got dried out stamens on them if, if i give it a tap you'll see they all fall off they haven't got any pollen on them they're empty of pollen so there's no amount of dusting those flowers is going to get any pollen transferred around your plant. So you need to look for these flowers here like this one where the stamens have gone from a pinky colour to this kind of uh, bright yellow stage and at this stage they're actually releasing, they are actually releasing the pollen. Uh, unfortunately it's probably not possible to see it on the brush I don't think it'll focus enough but there is actually pollen this is the time when you transfer the pollen from these parts 
and in the case of this one you can probably just about see it if I change the angle the female stigma protrudes above the stamens and anthers and that's the bit that you would have to brush pollen on but ideally I'm going to do it on this one here but ideally you need to transfer it to another flower or even better another uh, pineapple guava plant with flowers on it such as my I should be transferring the pollen from that one onto this one here which is a triumph and that that ensures your cross pollination and gives you a much better chance of getting fruit set on the different plants but I just thought I'd uh, some some people might be interested in knowing when to try and pollinate your plants just remember to look out for when the when the uh, anthers and stamens turn from a sort of a, a pinky color to a bright yellow and when they're bright yellow that's the pollen that's being released and that's the time you need to brush them with the brush and transfer the pollen over so thanks anybody for watching the video anybody who's watched it please give me a thumbs up Please remember to uh, share it with anyone you think might find that information useful for pineapple guavas or fijoas. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And please remember to uh, click on the bell if you'd like to get updates on how these, uh, these pineapple guavas progress over the season and what sort of fruit set I get, if any. I'll catch up with you all soon. Brett out for now.